of theaters, and we really don't have any clues that it's anything more than a 95-year-old, very, very busy monarch taking a few days off. And the other thing, what we saw on our last night up on our feet, we've seen a bunch of events in the last couple of weeks. We've got to remember that since Prince Philip died, he's doing this alone, which requires a ton of effort. And so, you know, hopefully we'll get some more uh, later today from the palace, but right now, no clues that it's anything new out of the ordinary. We told you about him yesterday. He's like a pub version of Ponsatani Phil, predicting what kind of day it's going to be. So here's the deal. Every morning, Noodle's owner, he's here with us now, Jonathan Graziano, posts a video. If Noodle stands, he calls it a bones day, meaning we should embrace the day. It doesn't always work out that way. Look at this. Oh, you do. <laughs> All right, so we found that we did not have bones. <laughs> it's the morning we confirmed he does not have bones. That is great. There you go. So then there are times when Noodle gives us the encouragement we need. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's a Bones Day. Look at that. And you know what that means. Treat yourself today. Get that extra guac. Buy that jet ski. <laughs> I love how Noodle's just living his life, and we've all, like, you know, the whole country has captivated the world at this point. Noodle, Noodle and Jonathan join us this morning, and I understand it's Happy Bones Day. It's a Bones, it day. A bones day. We found out earlier it is a Bones Day. In the 8 o'clock yes. hour. Yeah, everyone needs to get their jet ski today. <laughs> <laughs> What's, what, what is the... Why do you think so many folks have, have just clomped onto this, this, this little guy? Uh, I think we've all had a really hard time lately. I think everyone for the, you know, who knows how many months it's been at this point, but I think everyone's been having a really hard time, and um, there's something about just the irreverence of it and the joy of it and the idea that I, you know, things might be going well, but, you know, maybe I don't have too good of a reason to get out of bed in the morning because things are, you know, things are really hard in the world right now, but if a, if a silly little old little pug... You the bones day and you've got to go get your bread is going to make you get out of bed and get dressed and go have a good day like you know it's something right yes. now and it's, it, we've tapped into somehow something has been activated i don't know what but it's amazing it's amazing i mean noodles noodles 13 uh, how are you handling all this attention I, I mean are you able to still walk him around outside he has gotten spotted many times recently really? we've gotten spotted many times recently he's more upset he didn't get a handle at that cheese table <laughs> We can arrest that. It's not a bank. Yeah, yeah. And the other thing, Jonathan, that besides oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. being an inspiration for people, uh, you talk about the fact you're 13 years old, but you adopted when he was, he was like eight? Seven, seven, seven and a half. Seven and a half. So, so you, you, you guys are great, great ambassadors for adopting older, older pets. That's been one of the, one of the most incredible things about this is you know, having a platform, and I've always told people I adopted this dog, and I just got so low. He up on him, you know, because he was, he's been loved his whole life, but he was an older dog. Yeah, you get it, I do. But there's something so miraculous about taking in a dog, uh, you know, knows what a couch is. Someone, someone in the green room were and said that they came pre programmed ah, And that was true. a funny way to say it. That's mine, that's mine, that's oh, mine. House I love yeah, house I love broken, it. didn't have to train him. He's a good man. He's a sweet old man. We only have about a minute left. For, for people who didn't see you earlier in the show, I think if you know about noodles, you know. Right? But for people who don't know, I've reached all the way to got a story of somebody coming in, the Pentagon saying it's a Bones Day or something like that, right? Yes. Someone who worked with people at the Pentagon, apparently a meeting started, like a lieutenant colonel started a meeting by saying, I don't know if 
it's a bone stay or a no bone stay, but we're just gonna get started. Yeah, and that, that's when you kind of know, you're like, oh, I have no idea how big this oh, is. Yeah, this you, is you've made it. way beyond me and this little bug <laughs> now. But yeah, if it's making people healthy and it's making people, you know, to put uh, them uh, so be it, man. So be it. Love is a pop. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Happy Bones Day, buddy. Happy Bones Day. Thank you. I love Jonathan, this dog. Jonathan, thank you. And Noodle, you too, buddy. Just living your life. Keep those Bones Days coming. That's <laughs> it. Uh, thank you, guys. When we come back on this Wednesday morning, parents, listen up. We have a really important consumer confidence will tell you about it. It's a warning about one of the most popular gaming platforms out there. You definitely want to hear what Savannah Sellers found. And she is going to show us how to protect our kids as well. And then a little bit later, a dad serving up smiles, how his kids inspired him to get into the ice cream business. The third hour of today rolls on right after this. To be a thriver with metastatic breast cancer means asking for what we want and need, and we need more time. So we want Cascali. Living longer is possible and smoother with Cascali. When taken with a non-steroidal aromatase inhibitor in premenopausal women with HR-positive, HER2-negative metastatic breast cancer, Cascali is a pill that's significantly more effective at the end of disease than steroidal aromatase inhibitor alone. Cascali can cause lung problems for an abnormal body, which can lead to death. It can cause serious skin reactions, liver problems, and low white blood cell counts that may result in severe infections. Way if you have new or sinking breathing problems, cough, chest pain, a change in your heartbeat, dizziness, yellowing of the skin or eyes, dark urine, tiredness, loss of appetite, abdomen pain, bleeding, bruising, fever, chills, or other symptoms of an infection, a severe or worsening rash, are or plan to become pregnant or breastfeeding. Avoid grapefruit during treatment. Kiskali is not approved for use with tamoxifen. Ask your doctor about living longer with Kiskali. Uh oh, the magic's disappearing! Sing along to help me fix it! Heart stars and horseshoes, clovers and blue moons, unicorns, rainbows, and tasty red balloons! Grab your lucky charms and keep singing! A Snapchat app from Progressive rewards you for driving safe and driving less. Okay, what message did you hear this time? Safe drivers can save using Snapshot. What snapshot? What the commercial was about. I tune commercials out. Yeah, me too. They're always like, wah, wah, wah. Tell me about it. I'm going to a silent retreat next weekend. My niece got kicked out of one of those. For talking? Grand larceny. How about we get back to the savings? Yeah, yeah I would like right? to talk about that. Yeah, yeah, okay. Time. Nicorette knows quitting smoking is freaking hard. You get advice like, try hypnosis. Or quit cold turkey. Instead, start small with Nicorette, which can lead to something big. Start stopping with Nicorette. What's the number one retinol brand used most by dermatologists? It's Neutrogena. Rapid wrinkle repair smooths the look of fine lines in one week, deep wrinkles in four. So you can kiss wrinkles goodbye. Neutrogena. Still fresh. <laughs> 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 Down the unstoppables. I'm not getting through the pandemic just to end up with the flu. I ask for Fluzone High Dose Quadrivalent. It's the number one used flu vaccine for people 65 and older. Fluzone High Dose Quadrivalent is the only vaccine approved by the FDA for superior flu protection in adults 65 plus. I'm not letting my guard down. Blue Zone High Dose Quadrivalent isn't for people who've had a severe allergic reaction to any flu vaccine or vaccine component, including eggs or egg products. Tell your healthcare professional if you've ever experienced severe muscle weakness after receiving a flu shot. People with weakened immune systems, including those receiving therapies that suppress the immune system, may experience lower immune responses. Vaccination may not protect everyone. Side effects include pain, redness and or swelling where you got the shot, muscle ache, headache, and general discomfort. Other side effects may occur. All flu shots are not the same. I raise my game with flu zone high dose quadrivalent. Ask your doctor or pharmacist for flu zone high dose quadrivalent.
but parents, listen up. We're back with a consumer confidential that every parent needs to hear. If you have kids who are into video games, you've probably heard of Roblox. A lot of our kids play it. It's a wildly popular online gaming community. Well, NBC Savannah Sellers is here with an important warning. It is time to level up your gaming knowledge. That's and right. That's exactly. That's a good way to put it. Now, we've got, we've reported on some of these dark corners, like the recent news that Facebook's own research revealed that Instagram impacts the mental health of teenage girls. Or Twitch, a popular streaming service for gaming, has been battling hate speech within chats and comments. Well, this morning we have a new warning for parents about a platform that's often associated with very young children. This is Roblox, the wildly popular platform with more than 43 million daily both play and create games on their own. And while its bright colors and block-like avatars may appear kid-friendly, some users, like 17-year-old Brianna Toms, say Roblox can be anything but child's play. It looked like a bedroom that I joined into, and then I saw morphs on the side, and then it said, like, male and female, and then as soon as I clicked on, like, female, it had, like, their, like, chests and stuff, but they're naked. What do you think about these types of spaces existing within where you just like to play games? It's gross because, you know, little kids can stumble upon it, and I don't think any parent wants to have that conversation when their kid's, like, five, six years old. Brianna is describing the first accident script box called a condo game or scent game. These are user-created X-rated digital experiences where players can remove their avatar's clothes, make them simulate lewd acts, and even accessorize them with adult toys. Brianna says she found the game through a third-party chat platform for gamers and immediately told her mother about what she saw. What was your first reaction? I, I was appalled. I couldn't believe it. According to its community standards, Roblox does not allow sexual content or activity of any kind. And it doesn't believe condo games are widespread because of its stringent safety system in place to help monitor the platform. In a statement to NBC News, Roblox says in part, on the rare instances where we find or are pointed to people or content that violate our rules, our moderators swiftly remove it and take other strong actions. It is misleading to suggest such isolated instances reflect the family-friendly Roblox experience. While most condo games disappear just as quickly as they appear, experts consider each one a battle in Roblox's long-running shadow war against technology. This is basically a game of whack-a-mole, whereby every single time they try to take down one or two different games, 12 to 20 get popped back up within a matter of minutes. Jeff Haynes, who serves as senior editor of video games at Common Sense Media, says developers constantly find new ways to bypass Roblox's moderation system, potentially exposing kids to predators who offer online currency that's part of Roblox. Kids who are playing Roblox want Roblox with the offer their potential a predator saying, hey, I'll give you Robux for X, Y, Z, or if you come into this game, you can earn Robux. Is that a concern for parents? Absolutely. There are plenty of courts where predators have offered kids Robux to check out a game. This site. Roblox says it has zero tolerance for predatory behavior, adding, quote, we specifically monitor for and block chat behavior that indicates an attempt to bring a player off our platform. Still, condo games might be easier to find than you'd think. 17-year-olds Alex and David, who asked us not to use their last names, fearing for their safety, run a popular Twitter account, which reports the latest Roblox news to its nearly a quarter of a million followers. They say other accounts on social media lay out roadmaps to these dark corners. There will generally be these short, quick, snappy videos that get your attention. They'll be like, oh, join this game at this link, and it'll be hidden under a different name. Pretty much just masking the name and uh, looks of it, just to fool the moderation system, so Roblox will take longer to find the needle in the haystack. Brianna even showed us just how quickly she could find a condo game, again using a third-party chat platform. It like morph into, uh, like, other parts, see if we have a problem. Home by one of them. 
Oh, wow. Much of this game too inappropriate for us to show. It's not. It's not a good choice. Despite these disturbing images, it doesn't have to mean game over when it comes to playing Roblox, but it does mean staying vigilant. The report, what you see, come to mom and dad. Kids are a lot smarter than we think they are. I'm hoping they do the right thing, and I'm hoping they're the right now, Roblox tells us it works continuously to improve its safety system, that moderation system we talked about. It includes a 24-7 team of thousands across the world who are working to take these down. So, Savannah, what do parents do to make sure they keep their kids safe? Are there any safeguards or settings you can put on this? Absolutely. We've actually got a lot of tips for parents because the idea here is not just to scare you. So we spoke to experts. The first one is you got to know a little bit about Roblox yourself. Have you ever tried it? It is so difficult. I, I play know. with my kids and I'm bumping into walls. It's you know. I know. And you don't know how to early because I know it is just how it works. Understand. Sit with your kids. See how it is. It is a game. Game. Look like that type of thing. Another big tip: disable the chat function uh, within Roblox. This is going to make it much harder for a stranger to make contact with your chat. So you're saying this? I didn't even know there was a chat function. Yeah. I'm, I'm being completely honest. So, but doesn't Roblox monitor its chat feature? They do, and that's something that they absolutely want parents to know. So they use software filters on that internal chat feature, which does not allow what they say the sending of images or video via chat or one-on-one -on -one user interactions. And for users under the age of 13, it's also going to block what they call personally identifiable information so that's phone numbers addresses things